Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, welcome. I am glad you're here. I post videos on faith, lifestyle, and healthy eating. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to this channel for a new video every week. For brass, you will have gold. Today, I'd like to talk about feminine hygiene. I refer to this topic as the elephant in the room because many people would rather not talk about it as if it's not a thing. In fact, not too long ago, a celebrity that I admire a lot featured herself, her mom, and her daughter sitting on hot steam. I will post a link to that video in the description box down below. I saw a lot of videos where many people were making negative comments and backlash about it. I personally don't see anything wrong in loving your lady parts. I have lived in this world for more than four decades now, and I believe I know a thing or two about down there. I am not ashamed to break the ice about this topic. If you walk into a garden or a forest, you can smell the flowers or the leaves. If you walk into a restaurant, you can smell the aroma of food. Likewise, down there has its own scent, which is not necessarily foul. If one doesn't bite very well after urinating, then the smell of urine will be there. I have heard that some females stick strawberries down there and some spray all kinds of stuff down there. Studies have shown that the only thing that is necessary for down there is soap and water on the external parts. The internal parts cleanses itself naturally. There are a few things we can do to show some love to our lady parts. Studies have shown that we should avoid tight-fitting jeans and wear cotton undergarments, which allow air to flow freely. Finally, going commando to bed, especially in the hot weather, also helps down there to ventilate. And that's it, friends. Please share your comments. Let me know if you don't know what going commando to bed means. Take care, and I hope to see you in my next video. For brass, you 